Star Bite. My name is Matt Roseman, and today we're going to be watching Trap. Uh, this is the latest M. Night Shyamalan movie that I have actually been really excited to watch because from the teaser, it's pretty much about a, a guy who is, secret, who is secretly to his family a uh, murderer who is keeping someone in his basement and has to escape a concert. That's, that's the main plot of the movie, uh, from my knowledge. But knowing M. Night Shyamalan, there has to be some type of twist because uh, he's notorious to do that. So, um, and that's it. And also, it stars Josh Hartnett, who I really like as an actor. Uh, I like him Three Days a Night. I like him in Halloween H2O. And um, he's, from the general consensus of the reviews, he's uh, uh, the only good part of this movie, apparently. I want to. Uh, f find out myself. So, to, so let's just get on to watching it. Is that a good intro? I don't know. Maybe. Trap. Oh damn. Damn. Already with good music. Also, yes, it stars uh, Suika, uh, Night Shyamalan, uh, M Night's daughter, uh, one of M Night's daughters. And that's really cool. <laughs> All my life I've been steady. I do what's right. I don't go, 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 dad. Kind of reminds me of a, of a Nerd Out song. If you don't know who Nerd Out is, they're a nerdcore uh, band. Curious, come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, you forgot to lock the car. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, ah. Ah, uh, it's just a security guy. Good enough. They're all free for. On the floor. Bam. Give me the. I mean, I on the floor tickets aren't that aren't that bad. I mean, better than fucking those, please. Ooh. Ooh, it's a song from the trailer. <laughs> oh, he's such a good dad. <laughs> That's kind of a weird way to record, <laughs> to record something. Like, oh, here's the TV. Oh, there's my bar. Here's the TV. Deal's a deal. I did get lucky with these seats, though. I know, know, I know. <laughs> Meant to. I love, I love <laughs> him just like just being bombastic. Very, very, uh, very good. Don't ever fail. Why? Extra fries is better than crispy. Stop. I'm not getting you any more work. Who uses crispy in a positive sentence? Like, that's too- that is like 2000th level of like, uh, of slang. Well, I guess it's better than fucking cuh. <laughs> This must lo this must be what uh is like at a Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> and yes, I had to make the joke. <laughs> oh damn. The original music so far is really fucking good. I can tell that uh they put a lot of effort in the uh in the music department so far. Oh, is there gonna be like some type of messaging, like just enjoy the moment kind of thing? Maybe it's not really a good idea to keep your phone audio on when it's those noises. Ah, so that was like literally the first ten minutes were literally in the teaser. That that's really cool. Also, look at that uh, Easter egg for uh. It's other daughter's movie, The Watchers. I, I'm kind of blanking on her name. <laughs> you know, girls are at this age. <laughs> and I talked to Jody, and she's gonna work. <laughs> I would not. I would not even try to continue the conversation if the light in his eyes are just black. <laughs> like that's just that is not a person that you want to talk to when their face is just like blank. Uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing they were going to a concert, but she wasn't, 
invited. I'm, I'm just guessing. That's like the fifth time he's kissed his daughter on the head. I'm a, depending on how many times he does it, I might just do a compilation. <laughs> like a compilation at the end of the video. <laughs> I want you to turn on the lights on your phones. Oh, there's going to be some symbolism here, huh? <laughs> He's going to be the only one with no, with no phone light. Yep, damn near everyone has their light on on except for him because he has inner darkness i'm i'm guessing that's that's actually really good symbolism damn i really gotta check out the original soundtrack for this so such good music so far ah oh, come on i wanted to hear the rest of the song i was standing here before her like forever I mean, yeah, that's true. Sure, Dad. Is he wearing the back of his like the back of his hair like a ponytail? It's the fucking scene from the from the trailer, and that's been mean to death. Like fucking all other uh, funny scenes. So they set up a trap for him. It's the name of the movie. <laughs> this whole concert? It's a trap. Wow. They should, they should just drop the title card right here. <laughs> Women awesome. Sure, Jamie. <laughs> he looks like a ferret. Where we were? Do you mind? Oh, he's trying to, like, strategize how to escape this trap. <laughs> oh, really? That you have to stoop that low. <laughs> well, let's stop messing around out here and get back to our seats. <laughs> really perfect, uh, perfect blame in the dark scenario. <laughs> Gotta keep up that fun loving dad persona. <laughs> How are you all doing? You having fun? <laughs> no, I'm having I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. <laughs> all scream his name. He might hear us. Joe Hendry. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. I love how I'm just now noticing this. Uh, John, I can clearly tell sometimes that Josh Hartnett isn't just saying anything. But his mouth is clearly moving, and he just—it it just happened again with him saying Parker. But at least this time the screams are like loud. But in the I'm trying to think of the the scene near the opening, where like he's he's talking to someone and they're just nodding their head, but there he's not. There's nothing. There's no sound. She's really fun, funny editing thing I noticed. You know, for an organized event for uh, to catch a killer, this is very well choreographed. Yeah, he's he's thinking about escaping. Let me see where it leads. It looks really cool. What? <laughs> I don't know why he can't just leave her and go outside and wait for her while and just. While she executes, they're not gonna suspect a teenage girl to be the butcher. So why can't he just do that instead of like try actively trying to get her to come with him? It's crazy. We can't go down there. <laughs> See, she's being a logical one. <laughs> also, I like the the touch of the instrumentals so far being trap music. You know, you guys the title of the movie. That's a really not so subtle detail. I don't even think it's considered trap. <laughs> and yes, I know I'm complimenting the music a lot. If you know me, I love uh, good music in movies. Like it can really it can really help and even like a, a bad movie be good. Or at the very least memorable, like Madame Web. 
Oh, I think I'm gonna knock this poor guy out. <laughs> Dude, Cooper. Fire department. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, cool, he's a firefighter? Why are you killing people? <laughs> that, that's, of course, if he's lying or telling the truth. I've been following him for all 12 victims. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I, no, do not, do not stroke the ego of a killer. That never works. <laughs> Yeah. Even if he doesn't know if he's talking to a killer. One of my boys is jogging on. Ah, come on. I want to listen to the rest of the song in the background, not whatever he's trying to explain. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I mean, yeah, you fucking shoved the phone with a dead body up to his face. Of course he's going to be squeamish. Well, his character that he's playing will be squeamish. Almost as screamish. I mean, you're fire department, Cooper. You're a mouse guy. <laughs> no, he is not. You see the no life in his eyes. <laughs> yes, uh, all this is gonna be useful information for how he escapes. I, I'm guaranteeing it. Are the people who should win? Remember what the profiler said. If we. Yeah, I have a feeling he he's like um he's like Barry who kills people that deserve it. Like they're saying all this stuff like he's a teacher, has his son, but in reality he, he was probably like a psychopath like Cooper. As quickly as possible. I will per How are you gonna do that when you don't know who the butcher even is? Like if you had like a if you had like a picture of him then it makes sense. But at the same time, you're just risking civilian casualties for one dude when you can just, you know, bombard him at his house, take him by surprise. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> you guys are big. My guy, you're taller than most of them. <laughs> Oh, I hope no. They're they're not they're not kids. Oh, they're body parts. Okay, not say we're not be killing kids. Here, use my stash. Thanks. <laughs> I just want a bit of salt. <laughs> oh come on, it's a waste of good coffee. Press it later. No, hey. Oh no, no, you should not do that. He is. Even they're like, oh, she fucked up. I'm not someone to be provoked. <sighs> I mean, are you are you looking at this man the right way? <laughs> you don't want to see it. Oh, oh, you don't believe the dark side he has. I'll ask Jody. Thank you. I'm gonna get back to Riley. Enjoy the rest of the concert. <laughs> what? That felt so disconnected. <laughs> Well, I guess that's the point. Uh oh, it's a sheep though, so he's fine. <laughs> Why am I getting that? It's so weird. <laughs> but that's all, that's probably all she's thinking about. Like, huh, yeah, sure, that is a, a lot weirder today than usual. Oh, he's like, eh, fire alarm idea. It was stupid anyway. Hey, the song's back. <laughs> uh, I already see the thought process. He's gonna, like, accidentally bump someone into the crease. Or not, my overflow. Oh, shit. He put, uh, I guess oil in it? Yeah, all in her fucking face too. Just needed some air. There was an accident in the kitchen. I saw this clip on Twitter. A friend got burned. <laughs> fucking epic line delivery. A friend got burned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up big time, uh, Cooper. Maybe not. <laughs> he he's got insanely lucky. 
I, I love Josh Hartnett, but if you pay attention to, like, his face sometimes, he looks like he's always on the verge of crying. Like, in 30 Days of Night, it made sense, but even in, like, Halloween H2O, he always looked like he was on the verge of crying or having, like, a breakdown or something. And honestly, I find that a really good, a really good quirk. Especially with, like, some shots of his, like, glossy eyes. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? What was that cut? <laughs> Him slowly but surely just having a panic attack. <laughs> Backstage, huh? <laughs> He's like, huh? Very peculiar. <laughs> peculiar. <laughs> Ball guy is putting all of his effort into the dance. I like it. Right? I'm actually her Oh my god. Really? Of course he would make a cameo in his own movie. He did well he did the same thing in old. Where he was like uh, he was like a main character on in that I'm pretty sure. Her, her mother's brother, and she's really great. I'm her uncle, her mother's brother. Peak, peak dialogue. Covered from having leukemia. Oh no, no, this can't be the direction you want this to go. <laughs> Talk about Cooper, not the movie. She was chosen to be cursed. <laughs> like, she, she felt cursed, like she wanted to be cursed. <laughs> Hey, what seats you guys in? Can't be that easy. Riley? Hey, Riley, we were wondering if... M, M. Night Shyamalan seems like such a cool dude. Because he, he's, like, for the last, like, four years, he's been, like, financing his own movies. Or he's been putting his own money through it, uh, into his own films. And yeah, well... I can agree, like, some of them are mediocre. I don't think he's that bad of a director. Like, he he definitely needs someone to, like, co-write with him, because the way he, like, writes dialogue and so, and the way some, most of it is just exposition is kind of eh. But I think most of his, like, recent films have been good. Knock at the Cabin was really good. And Old, while, like, while silly in concept, was really, uh, was really, like, experimental if that makes any sense it as, as it the only bad thing about it was the expedition dialogue <laughs> but yeah i don't think he's like that bad of a director people only give him shit for him because of uh the last airbender not being uh or yeah that's like one of the main examples i can think of uh people not liking him <laughs> Yeah, they better not mention the leukemia. <laughs> Whoa, is she like in a mirror box or some shit? <laughs> and nice Shyamalan is saving his own main character. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I thought, was about to, like, I thought she was about to go. Wait, what's happening? Are we not doing the... Make a wish. <laughs> really wish the lighting in this movie would be much better in the concert section because, like, I could barely make out make out. I could only make out her head in this in this shot. She's like this concert shit. <laughs> hey, split die out her shot. Let's go. Yeah, if it was my favorite artist, I'd flip the fuck out. <laughs> Riley, you wanna come dance with me? <laughs> Very convincing. <laughs> to be fair, she has to like mock, she has to mimic yelling into a microphone, but she's in a sound booth instead. I'm pretty sure that's how this is working. I just love, he looks so confused in most shots he's in. It's either confused or like, 
just like examining things. <laughs> Their fucking reaction. <laughs> Yeah, this is one way to say fuck you, those girls. <laughs> Damn! This is honestly such a sweet moment, and like... But at the same time, it's like so sad, because you can tell he didn't, he didn't want to like, this day to be like this. Well, at the same time, he's just doing what he needs to do in order to escape. In a, in a selfish manner. If anyone tries to get backstage, let me know. Oh, that's that's bad ADR. <laughs> oh, that was smooth. I've been eating anything all day. He's safe now. Oh yeah. Okay, so he, he is an actual like firefighter. That's cool. <laughs> Can we keep him? He's really good with them. He's a gem. He's definitely not a psycho killer, but yeah, he's a gem. <laughs> Did she just collapse? I, I was looking at my phone. Hang on. I didn't see that. Oh, she tripped. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. You won't stop the car. Do you want myself now, will you? Will you? <laughs> Is that Kid Cuddy? Oh, oh yeah, that's Kid Cuddy. <laughs> See, he has it all perfectly planned out. Fuck, why can't we ever find him? Mr. The Thinker, I got that kombucha just like you asked? No. His name is Mr. The Thinker? Really? Like, they could have just shortened it to Thinker. Like, that's a, that's a much cooler, like, uh, musician name. And so is Lady, like, you could just shorten Lady Raven to Raven. Like, that's a much cooler musician name than Lady Raven. It's also less of a mouthful. Well, sour kombucha, bitch. Of course you did. <laughs> perfect, perfect, uh, line delivery, Kid Cuddy. What the fuck was that? I'll ask you some questions. It's nothing. We just have some extra security tonight. Yeah, you should probably get rid of the radio, Cooper. Yes, there's three drink bottles. He genuinely looks worried that he might get caught. And that, like, that's like, this is like some of the best face acting I've seen Josh Hartnett do in a movie. Then again, I've only seen like three Josh Hartnett movies. <laughs> no. What's the poison? It... Uh, maybe maybe don't let it slip now because the door's still open. Looking for me. Ah, uh, this is it, the tone just changed dramatically. You caught me. I admit it. Wow, the subtle, like a very subtle change of his. Like, tone is very good. If you do one thing, if we... Get me the fuck out of this concert. Please say that. Please! I need an F-bomb from Josh Hartnett. By the way, it was a great show. <laughs> he, he legit had to, like, sneak in a little compliment there. Like, oh, you want to save him? Catch me. Oh, yeah, great show. Save him or catch me? So he really is just killing people out of, like, just out of the fun for it, isn't he? There's no, like, moral code. It's just him just killing people for the sake of it. Which is fine for a movie like this. I don't mind it. Damn, so he really just, he really does just make a getaway like this, huh? Only 57 minutes into the movie. I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave her since you already told her that you're the butcher. <laughs> I don't like that. Can I visit your home? What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she's smart. Oh my god. Oh god, this isn't happening. Is this happening? What about what about the car? You need to get the car somehow. Mom, come on, just leave. <laughs> I can't believe it. Dad just sitting there. He's accepting all of it. What a proud dad. So now I'm curious how this second half of the movie is going to be since it's not focused on the concert. Which sucks because that means all the original music is just in the concert, which makes sense. Hey, it's the girl from uh, Cooties. <laughs> Dad, is that strange? I wonder why. <laughs> I just got to know your daughter. I think she's wonderful. A perfect white suburban family. Just made a couple things. Nothing fancy like you're used to. I, I would have made more if. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> yeah, she went straight into the lion's den with a few fan with a few cub. No. He kind of kind of looks like a a white Markiplier. <laughs> In that shot, at least. <laughs> Do you know who the butcher is, Rachel? The butcher? <laughs> I'll give you a guess. It's in a striped sweater with a watch <laughs> holding your child. The monster. That's all I can say. My friend and I. <laughs> that subtle, like, eyebrow raise of Cooper. <laughs> Not yet. Most of your fans and 3,000 of, 3, of your attendants were men. I mean, yeah, sound, sounds a little fishy. CD. Those individuals always drive dark cars because they have fear. Oh, yeah. He does have OCD because he was folding the napkin, like, intricately to, so they match the sides. This person is going to be different. What a stressful day you must have had. You need to... Yeah, he ascended really quickly. <laughs> I could play a quick song. <laughs> Oh, that was, a, that was some good camera work. <laughs> oh, that's smart. <laughs> oh, it's in the trailer, too. <laughs> Damn, such a good song. Like, I, I'm really glad they decided to make it, make this movie music-based. Like obviously it's not like a musical, like a full on musical, but um involve like involve not involving, uh surrounding the movie with the songs is such a good uh way of doing this. Really like helps really helps like the movie have good music and just be good overall. Man, I wonder what the song name is, though. Use your dad's phone. Oh, shit. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you might want to hurt the fuck up, uh, Lady Raven. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Calm down, Cooper. You're not really sure. <laughs> Doing a good job composing yourself. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can just smell a divorce coming. Butcher! Cooper is the butcher! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like full blown crazy right now. I would, I would just climb out the fucking window. <laughs> I don't like that. Please go back to Quirky Dad, Josh Hartnett. I don't like Scary Killer, Josh Hartnett. Yay! I got him out! <laughs> that was a nice detail. He had to realign the uh, uh, hand towels. Go to the far wall. Damn, he, he, he hit the back of his head with the door. <laughs> this took such a dark turn compared to, like, the campiness of the first half. There's a way to turn your... 
Is he is she doing the Jason mother is talking to you thing? Put on the fucking ties. I have the GPS. Hey, F bomb. <laughs> uh oh. Wah 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 wah. <laughs> Never let the two lives touch. That is such a fucked up code to live by. Good, don't forget to hand in that science project, buddy. <laughs> that is so eerie. And also, I paused at the right time. <laughs> well, good job, Cooper. You gave your daughter the best day of her life and the most traumatic one. Distracting a civilian asset. Support. Oh, that's that's Cooper. That's not uh that's not a SWAT member. Oh shit. It's strange when I get the urge. I think it <laughs> It's strange when I get the urge. <laughs> just break your wrist, just and pull it out. Very simple. Yeah, Cooper, this was very smart to pull into a area where it's fucking crowded. Oh shit, how did he escape so fast? Hey, Spencer made that okay. I guess he was traumatized as fuck, but But keeping my two lives separate is not Oh, are they in on this together? Oh, so I'm. She doesn't know then, or didn't know. Yay! Shortly, George Hartnett. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to get that one out there. Yeah, I'm guessing correctly. You went back on your own. Damn, this movie switched like on a dime, and I really like that. And I left it there. And then I found the payphone and called the police to say that. Oh shit! Damn, she initiated the trap, or she what the evidence that led to the trap? Wow, what a twist! <laughs> Looked like a mistake. Also, Josh Hartnett is like forty-seven, but he still looks like he's in his thirties. He looks good. <laughs> Yeah, I I would not. I would just yell. Like you have enough space to where like you can yell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, you have some five bites. I know. Five? Five bites for that big of a piece of a a pie? Damn. <laughs> Rage. Torn you, Rachel. Ah, uh, that's really scary coming from someone you, someone she loves. Anger. It's so. Uh, I got them all. <laughs> I won't get to see them grow up. Well, it's actually because you kill people. But sure, let's go. Let's blame the wife. Uh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, she poisoned him. Oh, and that was his mom from, from before. Damn, Josh Hartnett is such a great actor. Like he's making this like selfish villain feel so, like feel so human at the same time, while also being disconnected from like society as a whole. Come closer. Oh, the SWAT is actually in the room, isn't it? Shit. If he don't go down, that's fucking terrifying. Bro, he, he's fucking Superman. <laughs> Took four fucking tasers to take him down. That is something. Oh, the, the OCD. 
Which I'm glad they didn't really hammer on that detail of Cooper. Like, because OCD is like a subtle disorder. Uh, I'm just glad that like every other scene that you have let go, oh, I gotta, gotta fix that. It's a really cool, uh, not really cool, it's a really good way of showing it. Aww. Yeah, look at your choice, Cooper. <laughs> oh, he's already he's already playing an escape. Oh, he took the uh this uh the metal spike thing. <laughs> yeah, it's never really that easy. Oh, damn. That's how it ends? Huh. Uh, oh. Breaking news tonight. And family man. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, fuck. I was just talking to him. I ain't talking to nobody at work, no. Nobody. That's a good, that's a good ending. All right, that was Trap. Um, what a really good movie that was. Uh, very, like, critics, not critics, I think people were expecting the entire movie to be centered around the concert, and while I do think that, sh not, well, I don't think that should have happened, I think they made the right choice of making the concert the main half of the focus of the, fir of the first half of the movie. That was a fucking weird way of wording it. And then the second half being like his family life, because that's a really cool contrast of uh, his, uh, that's a really cool contrast of in the movie. And like, and just seeing Josh Hartnett being uh, a bad guy after being like a quirky dad was so cool. Uh, all the music was great. And I really think people should have gave this one a fair shot rather than just being like, oh, that's my Sean one directed it. Oh, better expect the twist being. Like the daughter being the killer or something, and I think they, I think they did the right thing by not showing the twist or not showing the twist, uh, not, not, not putting the twist in the trailer because I think if you just went into it uh, not knowing Josh Hartnett was the killer until the first ten minutes, then it wouldn't really work as well. I don't think like you want to see this guy deteriorate into a full blown psychopath, and I wonder if they're gonna, there's gonna be a sequel. Um, I would like one. That would be really cool, just to see Josh Hartnett be a uh, psycho killer. Um, I also think this is, like, the best of M. Night Shyamalan style. Like, it's such... It's fine-tuned, it's fine-paced, um, it's very well shot in, uh, some regards. And it's just, like, a good movie I, I really want to rewatch. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Um, again, there will be like a letterbox review in the uh, description along with Into the Pit and Barry Season 1 Supercut. Uh, and next video is Long Legs. This is going to be really fun, I guess. It's supposed to be the scariest movie of all time. But until then, uh, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. And remember, if you go to a concert and you're a psycho killer and you see SWAT, just give yourself up. It, it works. It just works better. It, it saves you an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs>